What I can't get over is how in the UK they're clearing the prisons for the thought criminals. They're releasing the rapists, the murderers, all those guys, because we need to put the thought criminals in. We know who the real bad guys are. Yeah. We will guarantee a prison cell. We will make sure that those people who need to be in prison will be in prison, not necessarily in the area where they live. They may be two, three hundred miles away from home, but we will guarantee people a prison cell. With the numbers are so tight there. How can you make that guarantee? They are tight, and that's why we've initiated Operation Early Dawn. So basically, the easiest way to describe it is one in, one out. So as people get released, we can then pick up people from police cells and take them to court, and we will triage that three times a day. We will guarantee. Sheila, um, I want to just say that I am experiencing an uncanny sense of deja vu. And what I mean by that, there is a novel by Anthony Burgess, I think it was published in 1962, made into a movie by Stanley Kubrick in 1971, if memory serves, called A Clockwork Orange. And really the whole idea is about a, a program where there's going to be psychological castration, if you will, of violent offenders uh, called the Ludvico treatment. But there was a scene, and I've seen A Clockwork Orange maybe about five or six times, and I never picked up on this. I wasn't paying attention, I guess, Sheila. And it's the Minister of the Interior touring a British prison that is jammed to the rafters with violent offenders. He's trying to find the guinea pig for this experiment. And the warden is talking about, you know, what we really need. And by the way, the, the setting of the movie, it's in the near future in Britain, probably today, I would argue. And the warden says, you know, we need more prisons. And the Minister of the Interior says, uh, oh, my man, um, uh, no, no space in the Treasury for that demand. And then he says, Sheila, what we need to do is further empty out these prisons of the offenders because we have many political prisoners to jail. Yeah. In other words, get out the violent offenders so that enemies of the state, i.e. enemies of this political party in near future Britain, uh, can be jailed. My God, I guess the date was never given for where A Clockwork Orange is set. I would argue 2024, Sheila. Yeah. I mean, how, how does this make society safer? How does it, people are saying things on Facebook and being arrested. Yep. Um, they're jailing people they're calling rioters when these are just uh, sometimes peaceful protesters with the wrong opinions. And this is the same justice system that let a rape gang that infested an entire town go where there were 1,400 underage female victims. They didn't have the manpower to deal with that, but they can deal with this. And you know what, Sheila, for those in our audience who are saying, why should I care? That's across the pond. You know that the Justin Trudeau liberals are for sure salivating over having this kind of power. You, th you think that they wouldn't do this to the next version of the Freedom Convoy? Absolutely. In a heartbeat. Yep. In a heartbeat.